it feels great. You know, it feels great that um, us as baseball players are working as hard as we can day in and day out to be the best player we can be and to help the team win. And whenever we have the front office, Billy and Steve and everyone else, you just put in the same energy towards building a great team. It, it feels great. It feels when you when you can match the energy of the front office and the front office can match our energy. Um, good things happen, and I'm extremely excited for what the future holds. And I'm glad we in spring training we getting things going. This is from the, with the payroll that, that Steve has, the money he's put into this team. You know, obviously blowing away anything that's happened beforehand. Does that make you guys feel like you have a little bit of a target on your back just because of that big number and all the money that that's been put in? No, not really. The target is we got a good team. There's teams that spend a lot of money and they're not good. So that's the target. The target is we spend a lot of we we have a good team, and that that's people are gonna come after us. They're gonna give us their A, and we gotta give everyone our our A. Nothing it's concrete until it's actually happened. Uh, he he's an amazing player. He's a great person and. I have fun watching him play. Um, I'm happy what we have here. I'm super concentrated on our team, so I wish him nothing but the best. I know when when uh, when he takes the field, he's always going to put up a show. It's always chill rare. So. We saw you interacting a lot with the fans, uh, you know, as always. How would you qualify your relationship with the fans? <laughs> How do I qualify? Um, I would like to say it's a good one. I mean, I've always take pride on um, taking a little bit of time to, you know, to interact or just give the autograph to to the kids and to people that, that want it um, because I was there. I'm still a fan, you know. I, I'm a I'm fan of many other athletes. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, sometimes I'm in my zone and, you know, I, I tune everything out. But most of the time I try to take a little bit of time and show my appreciation to them. They... They, you know, they, like I tell my wife, a lot of people plan their vacation around coming to see me play, so um, can't take that for granted. You mentioned Beltran and him helping you through that first year. What did he do or say that you found helpful? Um, he said a lot of things. Um, the number one thing was understanding what was happening when it came to um, the results and why people were on me and booing me. Um, he went through the same phase where he was getting it from people. And he, he said, in part, they're booing you, but mostly the results. Give them something to cheer you on and you'll be fine, you know? Um, and like there were moments that I just say, man, I, I, I can't just focus on my bats. I'm focusing on, what was, what was gonna happen, and I can't focus on my my back. And we just talked through mechanics when it came to how I was approaching my myself on the on deck circle as I was walking up to the plate, and what what was happening on in the batter's box, um, stuff like that that centered me, that brought me back to the moment instead of what was gonna happen or what happened in the past, stuff like that, like that. Baseball players need that. You got to stay in the moment, you know. Um, and I was good at it, and then kind of went away from it. And then he helped me, you know, bring it back. And I appreciate him a lot.